This is my AC120 to 220 variable speed controller and it was a gift, but I chose this because of its unique design and because I needed something that would really help me with my grinder because I use it for polishing and I don't always want it full blast. And grinders, they don't have a, a speed control on or at least my Dewalt doesn't. It's just blasting open or uh, off. So this is gonna help a lot. I'm gonna demonstrate on one of my shop fans on kind of how it works. I'll show you a close up view and then we'll put, go ahead and plug my grinder into it. You turn it on when it's plugged in it'll give you a reading of the voltage coming to your outlet so it's supposed to be 120 but it's actually 127 volts coming through the outlet which is is pretty crazy so i can actually regulate that voltage so it doesn't go you know over what i want for that machine so i thought that was pretty cool um also you know this thing is super easy to install because you can go uh, with the the cutouts there's four of them so you can either go like this or you can flip it over and mount it upside down if you want now, uh, I've had other ones like this and they overheat because they don't have enough ventilation or you can't even mount them because they don't have brackets like this. So it's nice that this one actually has four mounting holes on each side. Okay, I have it plugged in. So once it starts detecting voltage, it'll go ahead and show you how much we have going in there. Uh, I have it on zero so it's off. So to turn the fan on, I'm just gonna crank it up. There we go, we have it on low right there. And so it shows, you know, 67 volts is going into it. We could crank it up, it might be loud, mute out my mic. So it's pulling 125. And now we're at about 95, 93. Yep, so it's definitely helping put the volts in there. It's not letting it like send uh, any spikes or anything. It's keeping it real consistent and uh, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and try this on my grinder. So this is where I've chosen to plug it in, right by the receptacle and right by my doors to the back because I do a lot of work inside and outside the shop. And when I'm using my grinder for polishing, I can't slow it down. And I'd rather it have some slower speeds when I'm using my polishing wheel. This is my actual grinding wheel. Uh, but when I put my polishing wheel on there, uh, I like to be able to slow it down. So uh, it's on, you can see the voltage right here. Now when the camera focuses on this, it might blink, but it doesn't actually do that. Um, it's just the, the camera showing that. So when I turn it on, you can see nothing happens. And so as I turn the knob up, it's gonna start giving it voltage. You see that's the minimum for it to get spinning. And you probably won't be able to hear me over this next part, but I'm gonna crank it up and down by just using this knob here. That worked great. This is something that I'm definitely going to use daily and I'm super pumped up. This is going to be a great addition to my shop.